Good morning. Happy Red Friday, everybody. It is six o'clock and I'm at the house right now getting ready to head out. The guys are already en route to the job. Uh, we got 12 and a half yards of concrete coming today. It rained its freaking butt off all night last night. So I know that our piers are going to be full of water. We're going to have to get those things emptied out, get a couple mats down, and uh, we'll be ready to pour this thing out. So I'm going to uh, head on to the job and I will see you guys in just a second. We made it to the job. I know there's some water back here. I was just talking to the homeowner. Morning, morning, morning. morning. Where's J-Dub at? I think he's going to get the buggy. Did you guys go back there yet? No. No, I think there's those piers are probably full of water. So uh, we'll have to get something to get that shit out. And uh, yeah, so JT, you got the longest arms, so. That means Dave's doing it. <laughs> How's your leg, Dave? Good? It hurts worse today than it did yesterday. Really? Probably from laying down. But the swelling has went down. Did you put any ice on it? Yeah. Peas and stuff. Jeez. Well, we got to be careful with Dave. He's fragile. Yeah. What are we doing? Taking short. Well, actually, well, this one's got a little bit of water in it. Well, yeah, they actually don't look too bad. They look a lot better than what I was uh, expecting. I thought they were going to be completely full. Everything else looks pretty good. We're going to get us a little road set up over here. This stuff's going to be a muddy mess. So we'll get us a couple mats down over here. We got one out there in the driveway still. All this stuff looks really good. Morning, Jason. I mean, I had didn't see more. I didn't say morning to you yet. Yeah, no, I was. Did uh, channel grow anymore? Yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah. yeah. A whole bunch. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Cool. That was awesome. What are you up to now? It was like it was over 500. Oh, really? Yeah, well. That's over cool. 500. Awesome. Well, so even Matt, I sent Matt a, a text. And I was like, I don't know. I saw that our numbers have grown. He's like, yeah, I noticed that too. So thank you, man. That's awesome. That's cool. He says thank yep. you. Thank you guys for uh, going and checking out Jason's channel. That's really awesome. Those guys, uh, like I said the other day, I was watching the video and I kind of cut Jason short whenever JT's skinny jeans caught my attention that day. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I do really appreciate you guys going and showing Jason some love. Uh, Jason is a freaking really good dude. And I mean, you guys had him in tears. He brought him to his knees. No, I'm just joking. But uh, he did really appreciate that and so did I. So thank you guys for that. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Wilsonian channel. Jason and Matt Wilson's Arrowhead hunting channel. Pretty awesome, check it out. All right, this one's got some funkiness in it here. Now, if I was to leave all this water in here and pour this concrete, all this water would push up to the top and all this muddy nastiness would be right in the middle of our pad. And that would not be good. I never used a funnel to take water out of something. Go ahead and get us a bucket filled up right now. You know, on a one thing I learned on a job like today, it's gonna be hot. 12 yards may not sound like much, but whenever it's wheeled around back and it's you know tight quarters like this, it's muddy. Um, you know, that heat plays a huge factor in things. You just don't have uh Cab is already here, early. No, nope, they're not early, 642, perfect. So, we're gonna get in the back up in the alley right there. Oh, Larry Hale again this morning. What the hell? Morning, Larry, how you doing? We'll take a look at it. What's it reading right now? 
So what's that like 1200 1100 1300 probably going to get it down to about 1100 or a thousand it's gonna be warm today buddy um so i don't know how it is going to be going in like this so if it sucks on this first one i was thinking about moving those mats around and it might be easier for you to just you know turn around and then back into the yard and then pull up in there so and you know see how this goes if you like it then you can stay with it but if it sucks then we'll flip you around and we'll start backing you in there and then you can head up in there and then when you come out you can do the same thing yeah or yeah you can probably back all the way out or wh wh however it works So Jason, this thing is like 22 foot across, so we can we can go back and forth. It's just going to be a long stretch, really long. Unless you guys want to throw a pin in real quick. I think a great pin is probably going to help us. Let's go ahead and pull one more while they're doing that, Jason. Yeah, there's another hole right here by this, so be careful. All right, yeah, you step in it. One more. Beautiful. Let's close that up a little better. Oh yeah. Red eye. Red eye. Go ahead and go back up. Oh yeah. Right in the pier. I'm telling Ricky where to dump. Oh. <laughs> you like you see it, Jay? Yeah. <laughs> Pump it all the way over. <laughs> Pull that steel up there. Yeah. Pulling it, man. Pulling it. Rattling. We'll get him one right here and we'll get this pad going, Jason. And uh, we'll continue to pull this stuff down. Yes, sir. Hopefully that cloud cover sticks around for a while on us. Wow, amazing. I think it's supposed to be here for a little bit this morning. I was waiting for him to tell me what was going to happen. I, I don't believe you. Yeah, no. We ain't doing no S's here, bud. Oh, okay. That's money, dude. That's money, dude. Stale cracker. That's stale cracker. <laughs> a little sense hanging off the side there. Um, all right, Jason, let's go ahead and turn and get us a, a pad here. Big holes right here. Hold up. All right. One more. Let's go ahead and bump that thing. Let's hit it where we feel it. There it is. Perfect. 
I think we'll just get rid of this 16 footer and we'll uh, get that, we'll just get the 12 footer. He should be running out any time. He rattling pretty good. All right. Hey, is the other truck out there? All right. All right, first truck is gone. It did not take us very long to dump it out. Uh, let's see what time we got here real quick. 7.28, so it took us about a little under 45 minutes to dump it out. Uh, about a couple more minutes, our next truck will be here. I gotta wipe my feet off so I can walk out front. All right, that first truck went pretty smooth. It looks like we're gonna have enough concrete. I don't know. It's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty close. Getting all this, it's gonna be a lot of work to set this stuff up right here. We gotta set a form right here. We gotta fill this, set a form, get all this crap out of here. We're gonna have our hands full, that's for sure. I'm glad I called the concrete. Actually, concrete called me this morning, and uh. Dave had an hour in between trucks and I moved it to 45 minutes luckily because we are already done and that other truck is not here and if we had to wait another freaking 15 or 20 minutes before he did get here that would really suck. It looks like the next video might be a racing video. Tomorrow is the, the last points race down there at Sykeston. Normally I would race every weekend if I had my own car and whenever it's back together next year you know we'll be getting some racing in for sure but with it not being my car, my buddy Rich is super cool and he was he's willing to let me race at any time. But, um, you know, it's a lot of work when we both race it. We run the shit out of it. We freaking quadruple enter it. We enter it in four classes and we just run the living dog shit out of it. So um, I only race it on the points races, which this year there was eight races. Uh, Jason's going to be coming to the track tomorrow. If I decide to go, I still haven't really made up my mind. I'm trying. I got a lot of work to do tomorrow. I've got stuff that's been piling up on me here lately, little, you know, odd stuff. I gotta go caulk some stuff. I got some staining and sealing to do. Sounds like I hear a mixer. I don't see one though. All right, while we're waiting for this truck, we're gonna go ahead and try to get us a little something drug off here. This stuff all seems really thick. I'm saying the depth of the concrete. Oh. Let me get something my way real quick. Okay, I'll tell you what, Jason, I need you to go back more and let me try to touch this form. You need to come back towards you more. Okay, I'm on the form, so that don't look too bad. Go ahead and let's get a pull from right here and go out to your wall. Yep. Hold on. All right, holding on. Touching over the line, going that way. 
Beautiful. One more. Yep. How you doing today? Good, how are you, sir? Pretty good, man. Just uh all right. Let's uh put about uh put eight in there. Yep, Red Friday, baby. Yeah. I've been seeing it. Okay. I don't care. It's the one where the neighbor gets yeah. or whatever. And I was like, that's not right. That's that good. Video, that guy was like, he's like, oh, you got an operator's license? We all start laughing. This first load started to I, I know. I know it. It's weird. It's like the end of it there. I don't know if that stuff up there is already, is it? Yeah, that stuff. I mean, I just trust from right here to stuff. Holy crap. Yeah, this stuff is starting to get sticky on us, and I don't like that. I was hoping it was gonna at least sit there until we were done with this uh, pouring it out, but it's not. It's getting pretty sticky already, so I'm gonna try to stay ahead of it, and I'm gonna come out here and start cutting some grooves and edging what I can. JT, throw me that mag that's by your foot over there. And then somebody grab this board and let's maybe pull this off. Well, I guess we need to get, we need to get our pack on. Yep. Oh, shit. We're going to have our hands full here. Maybe. I don't know. We're just going to have to go. Got a lot of grooves and borders to put in this guy. I can't believe how sticky that stuff's getting on us already. Sticky on us, everybody. Not the most ideal situation for a Friday. All right, let's keep moving, guys. We got to move. Hey, Ricky, once we get this poured out, we don't have time to clean any tools, buddy. We're going to have to get on finishing immediately. So as soon as you're done, don't worry about cleaning up a thing. Let's just start rocking and rolling. Yeah. 
and this first one is going on us hopefully we get a little more time on the second one you know it's about 45 minutes behind it still feels I mean they just dumped it out but it's really wet so as long as we can stay on top of this first truck we'll be good I cannot believe how sticky that first freaking load is Jeez. Oh shit. I don't know. Right in the hole. Oh, right in it again. Oh, <laughs> up where it needs to go. It looks like the concrete gods are on our side. The sun has went back behind the clouds for now. Hopefully it stays that way. Because I'll tell you what, this stuff is not meshing around on us. Yep, go ahead and go down, buddy. We'll get another one just like that. I'm gonna have to get out on that right now and uh, start doing some grooves and stuff. And then as soon as they get done with that, me and Jason are gonna start finishing, I think. We're just gonna have to get out on there. We might have to cut these in by hand and stuff. All right, I need some uh, knee pads, knee boards. I gotta get out here and start cutting these uh, circles in on this uh, little fire pit area. Is he rattling, buddy? Bad or what? Alright, I mean, you guys are going to have to try to get all that done and set that up and we got to put expansion joint and everything in there and make sure it's all working perfect. I'm going to start finishing. Alright, so... 
let's see here. Where's 12 at? 12 is right there. Alright. Boy, this stuff over here is a little wetter. This is still the first load, but it's a little bit wetter for us. Let's see how this is. Well, it's still a little damp. The sun's getting ready to pop back out. We still got a couple minutes on it. I'm gonna need some more poles. Man, this first load is not messing around. Holy shit. Yeah, no, I, yeah, this is a. a I was trying to catch in mid <laughs> All right, everybody, we got everything filled in. These guys are finishing up this little area right here. Now, we do have fall going back right here, right? Right here? Yeah. Yes, Right. should be. Well, we need to double check that because I don't think that there is. That thing ain't gonna tell you nothing. Okay, well, Get him a level real quick. I guarantee you it's going. Well, because that step right there is falling this way. I'm telling you, it's coming this way. All right, I just want to be 100%. No, I, I, I'm with you. I'll get it. Yeah. Flying, beautiful. Does that look like it? I think it does. Get those other poles. So this stuff here is still really wet. Once I get up in there, it's gonna be damn near impossible to cut this thing in and that hard stuff. So we might have to, yeah. Let me let me see if I can uh, go a little farther here. That stuff don't feel too bad up there. Yep. Bump it, sir. I might get bumped your rear. Okay, pick that up and let's slide it down. Put it right on your groover mark. Good, it needs to go over more. Put your groover in there. Set your groover back in there. All right, this stuff right here gets really, really wet. Super wet. I don't know why that first truck blew up on us. Okay, take this out of here. I mean, right there was soft. Yes. Yep, you guys get those top five slabs that you're on right there done, and we should be in good shape. All right, 
yeah, that circle, that second pad, or that second pour is slop. Which I, I really don't understand. I don't understand why that first one jumped on us like that. This mud, dude, is every time I set my fucking trowel down, it comes picked up with mud. I don't even know where there's mud at out here. Was it Dave? This guy here. All right. And then we'll go 12 inches here and then connect into that. Dude's cut in. <clears throat> David is getting our little sidewalk area here all buttoned up. Oh, I actually still got to cut a border across here. So I still got a 12 inch line to cut right here. So I'm just gonna get me a couple marks here. JT, why don't you get our broom wet and get it on a few poles? All of our stuff is dirty still. We didn't have time to clean anything, so we're going to have fun cleaning everything up when we're done here. We need to go get our little 12 inch broom too, real quick. Okay. Go ahead and get this first couple pads broomed here. See what it's looking like. Perfect. There's a border that needs to go in right by Dave. So we just about got the first truck finished. And that second one, that second load is hanging on pretty good for us. So Ricky's on it now, so we can get on it finally, but it was really, really wet. Kick. 
You look like that chick on the uh, breakdancing at the Olympics. JT, look at that. We finally got her all done. Everything looks good. Ricky, beautiful job, buddy. Thank you. Kid's an animal. We got our uh, groove in the front of this step here. It looks really nice. Everything turned out really good. I got a little start stop out there for my broom that isn't going to go away. I don't really like that, but. That's a very tough little spot to broom right there. Does have a this was our first load right here. And you can actually see where that second load came in. I'm hoping that bleaches out and we don't see that, but it should bleach out, but we're gonna end up seeing a little bit of it for a while, but it'll all go away eventually. This little entryway looks good. I'm really happy with the way everything turned out, David. Yes. Beautiful work. But it takes everyone to know everything about concrete to do stuff like this oh, so when man. it starts getting away from you everyone just knows what to do yeah that's a beautiful there's thing there's no crabbing there's no whining no just it won't accept me well you just get a little antsy in the beginning and then you come yeah well it's a lot of money on the line it is and and you're the motivator you got to keep everyone going yeah. so yeah. when you're like hey we got to move everyone gets the mindset and we get it done. i will say one thing everybody i'm extremely proud of our team yeah, every, there's there's a uh, there's there was a lot of times in my life where I would never have attempted to pour this thing out on a 97 degree day. That is for sure. Me and Ricky just still gave it our best shot, though, wouldn't we, buddy? Yeah, it was <laughs> <pretty>. <laughs> we still we probably still would have. It just would have been a lot harder. No, we wouldn't have been able to do this at all without these guys. It was a definitely a tough one, but it's all done. We're gonna go get some lunch. And then uh, we'll clean everything up and uh, go from there. Alrighty, lunch is over. You guys doing all right? No, no, I said lunch is over. No. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go ahead and get everything cleaned up and get the heck out of here for today. It is 11:30. So what we're gonna do still? We got to get stuff cleaned up. We're gonna move a little bit of this mud around. And then we need to get our caps lined up and kind of shimmed up and glued. And then we're going to clean the driveway up over here. And that's going to be it for today. We're going to get all this stuff going. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Are we doing a two-manner or are you just going to take it? I can just take it. All right, cool. Then we'll just take them all one at a time. That's good. Sounds good to me. I better lock them in. Ooh, getting ready to go. All right, so I just had the camera off for all that stuff, but we just got done gluing our caps down. Um, everything looks really good. Ricky, good job today, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. JT, nice work today, sir. As always. Yes, sir. J-Dub. Yes. Beautiful work today. Thank you, buddy. David is around front talking to the homeowner, trying to get paid. This baby so looking good. It is, this thing looks slick. So once this guy bleaches out, I can kind of see a, a line where our two pores met, which I'm not happy about that. And I hope that it all uh, goes away and we don't see that once it's all cured out. Uh, do you want to take this? Yeah, we could just take that and throw it in the trailer. We'll keep it at the shop. But that's the finished product on this. Whenever we come back to uh, stain these borders 
and seal everything. I'm gonna have Dave bring his drone and we'll get us a couple drone shots, see how it looks from up high. But it won't be much longer and we'll be out of here. Yeah, that was a pour though. I'll tell you what, man. I, I, I mean, aren't you with me? I mean, that stuff, we've never had it set up like that. Not, not like that. You not, know, not before the second six. truck was even gone at 6.45 yeah. in the morning, I mean, when we went back to it, when we went back to it and touched it, yeah, I was stepping on it, on yeah, top of it. I'm like, I went to start come along and the other stuff in, and it's all. Yeah, I grabbed that uh, eight foot board and started pulling that down, and I was, I had to freaking grind the top off. Yeah, it looks good. Oh yeah, it does. It's a pretty big patio. All righty, Ricky's already out of here. Oh yeah. So it's just uh, all these fellers right here. All right, J Dub. See you. See you later, David. Yeah, see ya. See ya. Yep. All right. Uh -huh. Backseat driving. It is what it is. JT. Looking good as always. Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> We're out of here. We'll see you guys, hey, guys. on the next one. <laughs>